It's the Mavs taking on the Pistons tonight. It's the final regular season home game. Fan appreciation night. Should be a big night for these Mavs. Let's bring in Maverick great Derek Harper now. And Harp, listen, the Mavs won't be at full strength tonight, but I do want to talk about what the Mavs need to get out of these last two games to be as prepared as possible for the postseason. Well, that's an excellent question. First off, I, I, I think get out of this game and the Oklahoma City game injury free mm. because I think health is very important this time of the year. Lively is out now, but if they can stay healthy, they can make some noise. And the other thing, you can't prep for the playoffs because that's totally different. It's around the corner, but just pay attention to little things, little details of basketball, and I think they'll be perfectly fine. So the Mavs will be taking on the Clippers for the third time in the last five years in the playoffs. What are a couple of the must-dos that we have to get out of the Mavericks for them to play well against that tough crew led by Kawhi Leonard, James Harden, and Paul George? Well, you got to cover the three-point line. They're an excellent three-point shooting team, so you got to challenge out there. And out of those, the, the three-headed monster, you got to limit one of them. And I'm not saying completely they don't do anything, but three guys can beat you. So if you can take Kawhi, Paul George, one of them, and the X factor to me, as far as the Clippers are concerned, Russell Westbrook. He brings the energy, the tenacity that makes the Clippers go as a team. If you notice when he was out, had a hard time winning games. So if you can slow him and take one of those guys out, you'll be in good shape. Mavs have won 16 of the last 18. What has impressed you most about the way they have put this run together really when they needed it most. That they transform as a team. Mm. Joe, they, uh, they defend better than they did. They rebound better. The cohesion amongst this team, I've never seen anything like it. They're tight. After the game the other night, when the Mavericks pulled out that game against the Warriors, Kyrie, Luka were in the middle of the floor, Joe, and they waved everybody over. They wanted everybody to be invo involved in that particular moment. So they're, they're close-knit and they've been well coached. So let's start parading around, giving Nico Harris a lot of credit for making that turnaround at the All-Star break. No doubt about that. Last thing, I want to talk about Luca, because I call you an early adopter when it comes to, when it comes to Luca. Yes. Not ju we all knew the kid could play, yeah, yeah, but absolutely. you knew he was great from his rookie year. What do you think makes him MVP worthy now, Harp? This year in particular, I'm going to keep it simple, Joe. His numbers. I mean, we take Luca for granted. We take all of all, all kinds of greatness for granted. But you don't average 34 points, nine rebounds, and nine assists, and not simply be great. A, a little bit above of the rest. I think he's been MVP. And the reason being, Joe, is that they always talked about you got to win. Well, this team is, if they win tonight, it'll be 51 wins for this Maverick team. So I think he's worthy of, uh, of the most valuable player. I mean, Shucks. Jokic doesn't need three. He already has two. <laughs> That's enough. That's right. That's right. It's the great Derek Harper. Thanks so much, and have a Anytime, great call man. tonight, Harper. Thank you so much, man. All right, great Enjoy. stuff. Of course, you know it's right here on WFAA. The Mavs taking on the Pistons tonight at 730.